As you can see, we've moored up on the north side of Avenue Bridge. We wanted to have a look round and explore. Nikki's been here before, and of course, I've navigated under the bridge a few times, but never explored her in this area before. Uh, we went under the bridge, the towpath was like marshland under there and no armco we have got armco here so i reverse back under the bridge so uh, we're going to get the kiddies and the doggies off the boat and just go and have a little bit of a wander around but uh, yeah beautiful see what you can find <gasps> oh my goodness you've got sweeties go little go before bear gets them all Lily, you can go down this way, darling. There might be some in the same place. No, I saw that. Yes. What did you do? He took the other one. I said, if there's two in one place, don't. Uh... Well, kids have just done a little Easter egg hunt, and we're just going to go and have a little walk up there on the bridge and have a look. And this is the top of Avenue Bridge. Beautiful. Can you imagine the old carriages going over here? It's just amazing. All the work that went in to each one of these. Beautiful. Apparently Chillington Hall is about a mile and a half from here. So who knows, we might have a walk. And just down there is my beautiful girl. Okay. Dale. Dale. Quiet. Hi, yeah. <laughs> So we don't have a YouTube moment. Oh, it will be. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Oh. That was a lovely little explore on uh, Avenue Bridge there and a little bit of the grounds that way. We're not sure if we are going to have a look at uh, Chillington Hall this time. We might do it on the way back. Uh, we do want to make a little bit of headway perhaps tomorrow and get on the Staffs and Worcestershire Canal. Hopefully that is the plan. We want to leave perhaps about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Nothing's set in stone. We do have plenty of time to get down to Crick, but all I can say is so far this trip is just magical. I'm enjoying this little bit of exploring that we're doing and looking around. It's just fantastic. It really is good. And the kids have had a good day today. Uh, yeah, happy Easter everyone. I hope you had a, a good time. Uh, yeah, back to it tomorrow. Looks like we've got a boat coming up that way. Or well, another one's moored up up there. But uh, yeah, boats do move around pretty late evening. It's not late. It's about 20 past five, but it's definitely got cooler. Um, the kids have gone in, Nikki's just gone in, and I'm going to go in. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. It's the bank holiday Monday. It's uh, the 18th of April, and I'm going to be careful where I'm walking, because this towpath is a little bit muddy here. But uh, we've just sat down, we've had a bite to eat. And we've made the decision to move. It's half past three in the afternoon, so it's not really like me to move this late in the day. But uh, yeah, we've decided just to make a little bit of a headway. And then uh, tomorrow, maybe move from wherever we're moored up uh, to Penkridge, have a bit of a longer day. Um, we're going to try and make some headway. Uh, we do want to spend a, a couple of nights in Tixel, Tixel Wide there. I know uh, Nikki and the kids love it there. They moored there once before and they want to go back and uh, and revisit. So we're going to do that. So looking forward to it. So I better get the flag on. Better start the engine. Let's get going. And here we go back through Avenue Bridge. <laughs>
Alright. Just after the next bridge, which is Bridge 6, uh, there are some narrows. Uh, it was a bit narrow there, but this is literally about the width of a boat. It's only a short distance, uh, but it can be a little bit hairy if you meet another coming the other way. And now we're coming up to the bridge going under the M54 motorway and you'll notice I've got help again which is quite nice. Uh, it's nice to take it in turns, isn't it? You may be able to hear like a little whining noise. It's not doing it now. <laughs> there. Uh, it's the tiller. I've just got to grease it a little bit. I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Uh, the wind's getting up, but we have made a decision. I think we're going to go down through Alderley Junction today. I know it's late, but it's not far. We've just gone under Bridge 5. So uh, I think we're going to go for it. And this is the Wolverhampton Boat Club. A sign that we're getting near to Orderly Junction. And all the doggies are on the back too. And Daily Whaley's peeping. And... <laughs> well, we're very, very nearly at Orderly Junction now. I'm going to have a go at this lock and Nikki's taking the boat through. Simple reason is that there has been sort of reports that the gates can be silted up and quite difficult to open. So uh, I'll have a go at it. But. Uh, I'm no muscle man either, so we'll have a go and see if we get on. So here we are at Orderly Junction. It's the home of Napton Narrowboats, the hire boat company. Uh, yeah, I think the lock should be set because uh, a boat's just come through, so uh, it should be set for us. Yeah, this lock is just a small drop of a few inches. They're not commonly called stop locks. And that building up there is the old toll house where they used to collect the tolls. So it was literally just to stop the boat. Right, let's have a look. Well, I can't open the gate fully. There is something wedged at the back of it and I can't get it open, but that is one of the heaviest lock gates I've ever done. <laughs> it just doesn't seem normal on such a small little lock, but there you go.
I just can't believe how heavy these lock gates are. Neither can that duck. I hope that's the lock gate squeaking. Oof. And here we go. About to be a new canal for me and Nicky. How exciting. Oh, looks like Nicky's picked someone up. <laughs> Have you got the chips to Whipster? <laughs> hey Chip! <laughs> Spoiled little dog. So we're just coming out of Alderley Lock. The rather tight little left-hander here. Turn it to port side on the Staffs and Worcester Canal. I have already sounded my horn if you're wondering. So that's it. Goodbye Shropshire Union and hello Staffs and Worcester or the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal it's full title here we go and I can remember these fantastic trees from previous trips so does Nicky a breathtaking to see just like a huge wall of green I haven't got a clue what trees they are but they look like some form of conifer of some description I don't know Magnificent. Well, Nicky's just informed me they're actually called poplar trees. Poplars. Nice to know. The beautiful colours. Spring is definitely here. And I've got a feeling it's going to be a good one. We're just coming through the narrows and it's, we met another boat but we did just about have room to pass here so I went on to the towpath, held the boat and uh, now Nicky's on the tiller and uh, expertly guiding us through. <laughs> I mean, coming through here can be a little bit of a pain, especially when you meet another boat like we did, but as luck was out, it, it was a little bit wider there. But you can see the pickaxe in the rocks where all the navvies had picked away at it and carved us a passing. Chip. Chip. Sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> Bless him. Well, we moored up and I've got to say we both really enjoyed ourselves. We have had a black cloud follow us. It's back there somewhere. Uh, so we thought we'd be better moor up. What's, what's the time? It's quite late. It's nearly 20 past seven in the evening. The Anchor Pub across green is just back there and we've moored up here. Um, yeah, well, we've broke the back of it. Uh, we were going to do one trip to Penkridge from where we were moored at Avenue Bridge, but uh, we just decided, um, as I say, when we were having lunch, let's just get moving. And that's exactly what we've done, and I'm glad we have. I very, very rarely move that late in the afternoon. I'd rather get up, get going, moor up early, and that settles you down. But this has been really nice, really, really nice. And the weather's been with us. We'll check the weather tomorrow. If the weather's with it, with us, we are going to carry on to Penkridge. Perhaps spend a night or two there. And little Noah has some birthday money in his pocket. And I think, I don't know, so don't comment. We will Google it. I think it's uh, Penkridge Market on Wednesday. And I've stopped there in the past and seen it. It's huge. So he can go there and spend some money and have some fun. So that'll be really nice. And I also know in Penkridge there's a traditional sweet shop that we can go to. 
and uh, yeah, Nikki and I can get some cola cubes. Kids may be able to get some sweets as well if we're really friendly. Right, folks, we're walking the dogs, then we're going in the boat, we're having some tea and a nice early night, perhaps a movie. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs>